Turning now to your health watch this evening, the CDC's recommendations of no crowds, social distancing, and safer at home take center stage this holiday season. Local 5's Connie Fellman takes a look at what will happen to Black Friday with all the pandemic guidelines in place. Black Friday has quickly become a national holiday, pushing some sales to start as early as Thanksgiving morning. Last year, the number of in-person shoppers on Black Friday fell, while more people made online Black Friday purchases. But what about online shopping dangers? Here's an idea of what a pandemic Black Friday and Cyber Monday. This is Target! This is how it was last year. But this year, COVID-19 has changed everything. There's just nothing that makes me want to go out that, that I can't like get online. For the first time in years, more big retailers are keeping their doors closed Thanksgiving Day. Instead, cyber deals are already underway. But beware. Experts say if you want a specific gift, order it online now before they run out. Try out apps that can help you keep track of sales on hot items. One of the top apps this season, Shop Savvy, helps you find the lowest price locally on gift items. Coupon Cabin is a coupon and cash back app. Members scan search for offers for more than 4,000 stores and brands. Members can search for offers from more than 4,000 stores and brands and earn up to 10% cash back on online purchases from more than 1,800 stores. Avoid sticker shock at the register with Discount Calculator, an app that figures the real price for all of your items, including store discounts and applicable sales taxes, helping you get through your gift list safely this COVID holiday season. As we say bye-bye to Black Friday, be aware of Cyber Monday and holiday sale hoaxes. Only go to company sites of trusted brands directly. Never open up an email or link or ad. Use a credit card that offers fraud protection. Do not use the same passwords for all your accounts and never shop on a free Wi-Fi connection. That's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.